Quen just announced a new model series for math specific language models called Quen2 Math. This one is based on Quen2, and what they're showing here is that this particular model outperforms even the closed source models such as GPT 4.0, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet on the math benchmark on zero shot at one accuracy. So what we're gonna do in this video, we are gonna go through some of the details in their announcement. So let's get right into it. Before I continue, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. This helps us a lot and allows us to do more of these videos for you. Something we have been doing in this channel is covering some general purpose models, but also we cover a lot of the specialized models. For instance, models for code generation like DeepSeq Coder 2 and many other models. And this one in particular is about math and math reasoning specifically. So this model was trained to solve very complex math problems. And we're going to look at some of the results from this particular model. What we see here is the overall result from Quentu Math. So Specifically, the 72 billion instruct model, which gets 84.0 on this math benchmark, which is a very challenging benchmark. And this one is measured at zero shot at one accuracy. You can see that all these closed source models are right here. And you can see the orange here is the open weight models. What you're seeing here is how the open weight models are closing in the gap in terms of performance compared to the closed source models. So as comparison, you can see here Cloud 3.5 Sonnet gets 71.1 accuracy and GPT-40 gets 76.6. .6. And then there's also a Gemini Math Specialized 1.5 Pro model which gets 80.6. So that's a very powerful model as well. And the one that they're proposing gets the highest result. We're going to look at some details on what this model entails, training data, and also some other results on other benchmarks as well. All these models are available on GitHub, Hugging Face, Model Scope, and also you can discuss directly with the team if you have any questions. Very important here that this model mainly supports English, but they are planning to release a bilingual model as well. So I'm not going to go through all the specifics here, but I'm going to highlight the important parts. So this is a series of math specific language models based on the Quen2 series. And what they're proposing here is Quen2 Mat and Quen2 Mat Instruct. So they have the base models and they also have the instruction tune models, which are the more powerful versions of these models. And they claim here that this particular Quen2 Mat model significantly outperforms the mathematical capabilities of open source models and even closed source models like GPT-40 and Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. I think it's really important to track how these specialized models are performing on these benchmarks. The reason I say this is because one of the areas where the general purpose models are not doing so well are areas like code generation, reasoning, planning, math problem solving, and so forth. I think there's a lot of benefits that can come from having specialized models like these ones that are specializing on math. And also there's a lot that we can learn potentially to use and adopt in more general purpose systems. I think it's still good to have these specialized models because as developers, what we are finding that's working great is a mixture of different models. So you can imagine that if you have an agent that's specifically doing a lot of math problem solving, you can leverage a model like this, but you can also leverage, for instance, for refining results and doing other types of tasks, a more general purpose model like a Cloud 3.5 Sonnet or a GPT-40. You cannot dismiss the specialized models. They are really important and they're also providing some insights into how they're achieving good performance. So this particular figure shows the best performance size ratio. So you can see all the Quentu Mat instruct models, how they lie right here. And we have a 72B, but we also have a 7B and a 1.5B instruct model. So that's really great. I must mention there are other notorious models as well that are really good at math. For instance, we have the Mistral Large. This is the new large model that they have announced. We also have the Lama 3.170B and 405B as well. And the Numina Mat model, which is 72B chain of thought. Specifically, the base models of Quentu Math are initialized with the Quentu 1.5B, 7B, and 72B. So they do have that base model and they are using that to initialize this particular model and then further pre trained on mathematics specific corpus. So this one would contain high quality mathematical web text, books, codes, exam questions, and mathematical pre training data synthesized by Quentu. So they are using some synthetic data as well, which is now becoming very standard just to kind of scale data and give that model the capabilities that it needs. So what you see in this first chart here is the performance of the 
subsequent to MAT base models. So these are the base models. We're going to talk about the instruction tune models right now. But you can see that Quint 272B, the base model, how it performs here on these MAT benchmarks like GSM 8K, MAT, and MMLU stem. This one already performs significantly much better than the other models like Lama 3.1. Very curious to see how the instruction model performs on the various benchmarks here. And now they compare also the specific model. These are the results for the general model, and these are the results for the specific model, so the MAT specific models. With the instruction tune model, what they have done is the first train a MAT specific reward model based on Quent2 MAT 72B, so it will be the base model sort here. This is combined with dense reward signal with a binary signal indicating whether the model answered correctly. So this is just your reward model. This combined signal is used as supervision for constructing the SFT data. So that will be your supervised fine tuning data through rejection sampling and also in their reinforcement learning with group relative policy optimizations after SFT. What's interesting is the use of this particular algorithm. This is also used with DeepSeq Coder version two. And in that paper, I have a video for it. I'll link it down in the description. They mentioned that this particular algorithm was found to be more effective with these specialized models and also less costly. So this is the reason why they chose to use this particular algorithm. So these are just the results on the instruct version of this MAT specific model from Quen. And now you can see how ridiculous the performance is, right? So they're, they're showing here that this model on GSMAK and MAT, you can see here, MAT gets 84.0. That's a significant boost compared to the base models that we saw earlier. And you can see how it compares with something like a Meta Lama 3.170 B instruct. These two models are comparable because of the size. This one performs 34.2. You can see that for more general purpose systems. So this particular model, Meta Lama 3.170 B instruct gets 65.7. I think that's still good for the math benchmark, but you can see how the specialized open weight model from Quen is getting 84.0% here. So that's a very, very significant boost in performance compared to those models. One interesting model here, the Matstral model, this one is from Mistral. They only have a 7 billion parameter model, so you can compare these to 7 billion. The Matstral gets 84.9 on GSM 8K, and this one gets 89.9 on the standard S. So still a good boost in performance here. Now they are testing these models, if you notice, on different settings. So for instance, they have majority at eight, and then they have RM at eight as well. So different settings that they're using. If you have been following the space of language models, specifically for MAT, you will know that these two particular benchmarks are some of the more difficult benchmarks that we have available today, specifically this one right here is AIME24. It really has some very complex problems. And I was curious to see how this model in particular performs, right? This is a specialized model claiming that it all performs all the open weight models and also all the closed source models as well, like GPT-40. So this performance here that you see with the GPT-4 Turbo is the performance that I saw previously. The Gemini MAT Specialized, you can see how much it solves out of 30, but let's check the Quen MAT shock models that they're proposing. This one achieves 11 11 out of 30. That's really remarkable, I think, because so far I have been seeing 5 out of 30, 3 out of 30, but I really haven't seen a model that gets into double digits for this particular benchmark. I think this is the first time we're seeing it. This is just an indication of how powerful this model is at math problem solving. This one just shows a case study. So there are a couple of problems here that they are testing their models on. So you can check it out on your own. Um, just to show you here, this is a problem that they got from the International Math Olympiad shortlist of 2002. And this is how it, the model is solving the problem. So this is the direct solution here. What I can see is that the format is really nice because when you use models like GPD-40, there is a lot of unnecessary explanations and descriptions and lingo that's not used in the math world. So that's the first thing that I can see. The format is really nice. And so I think to solve math problems, there's a specific format that needs to be followed, especially if you're trying to use a tool like this to study how to solve math problems, you would want it in this specific format that's more specific to math problem solving. But this is really nice to see. And you can see more examples here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the model to be released and to be available in some inference providers that I use. Once that is made available, I will do an extended video where I go through some examples and test it on some of our own math problems that we usually use to test these LLMs on. Something to mention here is the use of decontamination. As we know, some of these public benchmarks are publicly available and sometimes leak 
into the test data sets that they're using. So they're making sure that they have some step to avoid this from happening. They mentioned here that for post-training data, we remove more positive contaminated samples that have overlaps with some of these benchmarks that they're testing on. So that will be it for this particular announcement. I think this is exciting. It's exciting to see that we have all these specialized models, right? The deep sea coder version two, I got excited about that. The results are pretty good. And apparently with this model as well, the results are quite remarkable. We still need to test it ourselves just to get an idea on how it's performing on a variety of different math problems. That's something that I want to check. I also want to check the type of outputs, the quality of outputs, the formatting of those outputs, the style of it, and all of that, because they're using a lot of math specific data sets. So I wonder what's being learned by this model on those data sets. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.